Hi, welcome back to section 10 summary of the HR strategic uh, business partnership uh, program. So there you have it, learning and development um, offered from two perspectives. Uh, one from the people hat perspective in terms of uh, employment brand, in terms of people looking and wanting to be more knowledgeable and skillful, uh, in terms of therefore attracting and keeping uh, you know, talented people. Uh, from the second perspective, from a business perspective, we want people in whatever role they're in to be as uh, to be able to perform that role as well as uh, intended as well as possible. And ultimately, the more learning and development opportunities we give them, the more capable they are, the more confident they are, the greater return you know we get on that. Uh, investment. So all well and good to offer it from those two perspectives. The, the, the other context that we really wanted to emphasize was just the variety of learning experiences that you want to provide to people now. Um, th there are just so many ways, assignments, attachments, projects, research, um, uh, you know, rotations, uh, international visits, you know, uh, as well as classroom, online, blended. Uh, I mean, the world is our oyster, if you like, in terms of being able to put together a really robust learning and development offering. And if it's as key as we believe it's become, and the research is showing that, and if it's as key as it's going to remain, and there are indications that that is true as well, then it's something that organizations really need to be focusing on more. And again, from a strategic HR perspective, one that we want to be influencing very strongly uh, if we haven't already influenced that as much perhaps as we could have done. Uh, so a key area and one very much that will add to your talent management offering and the uh, employment brand that you are uh, and will be uh, so keen to establish and maintain. Uh, I'll be back again uh, in the not too distant future with some more for you on strategic HR.